so tailored. We talked about this a little bit earlier today, but I think everybody else out there wants to know about Jacob Black's transformation in the movie. Can you, can you talk a little bit about that and then what you had to do to physically transform yourself? Yeah. Jacob, he uh, goes through a lot in this movie. He uh, transforms mentally and emotionally, which is extremely important. But uh, the most challenging for me personally was uh, physically. So I had a lot of hard work cut out for me after filming Twilight. I, uh... <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I worked really hard um, to try and transform Jacob's body so I could portray him correctly for all of you guys. And uh, I hope you guys are pleased when you see the results. Throughout the four book series, what I noticed that what you guys' darkest part of your character is that you're all very selfish. And so I wanted to know what part of you did you actually have to bring out to really portray that? I would hope um, that most of my, you know, close friends and family or people that know me um, would say that I'm more like Jacob's pre-transformation side because uh, that's before he goes wacko. Um, so yeah, I, I hope I'm more like friendly and outgoing than like this dark, disturbed person, um, this monster. Actually, I don't think he's a monster. monster. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just wondering, my questions for everyone, um, how, has, how has it been different to film in Vancouver as opposed to Portland, and how has the, the, fan, um, the fan response to it um, been different from the first filming? But both places are cold and wet. <laughs> They're beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's just not fun not wearing any clothes there. <laughs> uh, Taylor, this is for you. I know you kind of asked me into this, but how was it filming like half naked with the random weather conditions in Vancouver? And also for fans who want to see it, can you do a backflip for us? <laughs> quite cold, um, and she got to, I mean, we did this scene where it was raining, and um, it wasn't really raining that day, or actually a little bit, but we needed it to rain harder, so we used this rain tower rain, which is straight from the wells, is that true? It's cold to start with. It's so cold. So yeah, all I was wearing was uh, jean shorts, um, <laughs> and to have to, and it was a long scene, and to have to stand out there, and we did that scene all day long, you know, for 12 12 hours, uh, it, it was really, really cold. So it was hard, but I'm um, doing it all for you guys. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to in the upcoming films? I'm, I'm excited for like the height of the love triangle. Um, and, and me and this guy have to uh, try and become friends to protect Bella. Uh, the sleeping bag scene, the sleeping bag scene. I'm wondering uh, what's it like working with a different director with your same character and what the differences between the directors were? What did your shirt say that you wore keep, all the time? Keep calm and carry on. Calm and carry on. That's, yeah, that, that was Chris. Um, he, he's so calm and he keeps the set so relaxed and we're just, I mean, we're having a blast doing what we love to do, but, you know, we're looking at the results and just, uh, I know I was sitting back wondering how he's doing this while we're all just, like, having a great time on set and we're not stressing at all because he keeps the set that way. Um, 
Uh, my question is for Taylor. I was just wondering, dude, can you teach me how you worked out and stuff? You know, because I want to, you know, you know, get a little buff for my girl. You know, and these, these love handles ain't working, bro, for real. <laughs> well, you know what? Actually, it does bring up a good point. Like, what kind of programmer did you have to go through, Reginald? Um. Um. Well, I, obviously, getting in the gym and finding a personal trainer to help me. Um. But the thing that I found is I, I originally, just because I was getting in the gym and starting to eat a lot, um, I put on some weight and then I randomly started losing weight and I, I, I started freaking out. I'm like, where's all this weight that I was putting on going? And uh, what I found was I was actually overworking myself. I was in the gym six to seven days a week and doing like two a days and um, I was actually burning more calories than I was taking in. So that was my biggest problem. So I actually had to cut things back. Um, and whenever I would like break a sweat, my trainer would have me stop and relax. Um, Kristen teased me about that on set a lot. Um, but don't, don't freak out, you might burn a few too many calories. <laughs> <laughs> but the hardest thing for me was eating. Um, eating constantly and good foods, but always... Health tip, eat constantly. <laughs> you, you should give a shout out to Jordan, right? I mean, your, your trainer. Yeah, my, my trainer, Jordan Young, um, is... Uh, He's really, really talented, and he, uh, he helped me a lot with this process, and he's always on set, like, shoving food in my mouth. I'll, I'll literally, I'll be talking to somebody, and he comes up with a plate, and he's like, take, and he wakes me up in the morning, he's like, take this protein shake, and I'm like, dude, I'm sleeping. Um, but yeah, I uh, have a lot of people to thank. My question is for Taylor. Um, I'm one-eighth Paiute and one-eighth Cherokee Indian, and so you playing a Native American, have you uh, learned anything about them or their cultures or uh, any of their traditions? Um, yes. For Twilight, I actually had the opportunity to have some Quileute um, Indians come to Portland, and I actually had the opportunity to have dinner with them and talk to them and the main thing I was focusing on is I wanted to learn more about the kids my age and what they like to do in their free time and I was expecting something really different and I was expecting to have to change myself you know to be able to do that but I, I asked this kid who looked around my age I was like so what do you do in your free time what do you what do you do for fun he's like ah uh, you know, I play basketball, I go to the beach, and I was like, what do you do at the beach? You throw the football around? He goes, no, I check out girls. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it was really funny. So, I, the interesting thing that I learned is that they're just like me. They do the same things I do. <laughs> Let's X that. So yeah, it was awesome to have the opportunity to meet with them and learn more about their legends and stuff. And uh, it, it was really great. I'm really thankful that they came uh, down to Portland from Forks. T Taylor, uh, Taylor actually speaks, speaks some Quileute in, in New Moon. It's true. It's true. I do get to say the Quileute line. <laughs> I'm excited for you guys to hear it. It's kind of fun. <laughs> say it! Say it! Say it!